I want to talk about the concept of backblending. And so to illustrate that, I've got this simulation put together. And the idea is we have a well, well stream fluid. And that fluid is going to go through some kind of separation process that may look very similar to what I have here, a high pressure separator and a heater treater with some vapor recovery. Then we have our sales gas, our hydrocarbon tank, and our water tank dividing this well stream fluid into those three uh, different outlets. So again, our sales gas, hydrocarbon, liquid, and, and then our water as well. Now we want to be able to, along the way, calculate what our water tank flashing losses are and what our hydrocarbon flashing losses are as well. And so ideally, we would just know what the well stream fluid here is made of. We'd have its composition, its flow rate, we could type that all in and just send it on down the process and have Promax calculate those outlet streams for us. But unfortunately, you don't really ever know just the well stream fluid composition. More likely, what you're going to know is your sales gas composition and flow rate, your hydrocarbon liquid in your storage tank, what its composition and flow rate are, and then your water flow rate here in this tank as well. And so what back blending is, is essentially we take those three product streams or those three outlet streams here and we mix them back together and blend them back together at the beginning of our process and send those through the simulation as an estimate of what came out of our well to begin with. And so that's what we're going to show you here is essentially these measured streams are just the measured compositions and flow rates of each of these outlets. So my measured gas is my composition of my sales gas with the two million standard cubic feet per day that I'm getting there. My measured liquid stream has the composition of this hydrocarbon liquid in it with its 36 barrels per day flow rate to start with. And then the water stream we just said is 100% water at 152 barrels as well. And so we just send all three of those into a mixer, plug that in here to the beginning of our simulation, and then after specifying all of our separators and things, we execute the project and send that fluid on back through. Now we get pretty close on our final outlets, depending on your situation. It will um, be really, really close or it might take some work. And so you can see our sales gas is really close. Our water flow rate is very close. And even our hydrocarbon isn't terribly off, but that is about a 10% difference there. And so really, we would like to get these outlet streams as close to their actual flows as we possibly can. The reason that they aren't the same is because right now we're only accounting for those three outlets, but we have some of that hydrocarbon is going out this water tank flash, and some is going out of our hydrocarbon tank flash as well. And so we're going to need to adjust the flow rates in the beginning to match our final outlet flow rates. We could do that manually, of course. You know, we could just come in and, and change these flow rates manually, or we can use Promax solvers to figure out the inlet flow rates necessary to get our desired final flow rates, and that's what we'll go ahead and do. I'm going to start by adjusting this measured liquid in order to get the hydrocarbon liquid flow rate that I want. So I'll double click here on my measured liquid. And I could, again, just manually change this to something like 38 barrels. Or I could right click and choose to create a simple solver. I'm going to name my solver, and this is my liquid flow solver. Okay, And we want our hydrocarbon liquid flow rate to be 36 barrels. And so my equation here will just be my liquid flow variable minus 36. I'll click Add to go find that in my moniker tree here on my flow sheets, on process stream, and this one's called my hydrocarbon liquid. We'll open up its phases to the total phase, and then the property that I want here is a standard liquid volumetric flow. And I named this liquid flow. Let's make sure our names line up. I can click Add. And since this name lines up with that, I check error. There's no error in my equation, so Promax can now use this solver to get us to the flow rate we want. Let's go ahead and do the same thing 
on this measured gas to make sure that our sales gas is at 2 million standard cubic feet. We were already just about right on, but let's go ahead and make the solver just for practice. If I open this measured gas, right click on its flow rate and create simple specifier. This is for my gas flow. And this time our equation will be our gas flow minus 2. Okay, so that 2 million standard cubic feet, I'll click Add. I need to go and close that hydrocarbon stream. Instead, we're looking now at the sales gas to make sure that's 2 million standard cubic feet. Come into our properties, and that's a standard vapor volumetric flow. And so I'll name that right here and click Add. Okay, so now that equation is taken care of. And let's do the same thing on our water stream to make sure our water outlet is at 152 barrels. So I'll double click on my water stream. Let's create that solver. This is for my water flow. And in this case, my equation will be my water flow minus 152 barrels. I'll click Add, and then this time, looking for my water outlet stream. And again, the property is our standard liquid volumetric flow. Okay, got my units correct, click Add, my variable looks correct. So now with these three solvers, it's going to adjust the inlets to make sure that our final outlets are what we expect them to be. I can go ahead and just execute the project now and let that iterate on through. And it's working on all three of those solvers at the same time. But it should be pretty quick here. And when it's done, we'll see that now all of our flow rates match what we'd expect. And so we can now use the calculated flash gas here and calculate things such as the VOCs, the BTEX off of this tank. And so we've used this back blending approach to estimate what's coming in to our process, running that through to match our outlets, and that has allowed us to, to do his back calculations for our emissions. So, so that's the idea behind back blending. And of course, if you have any questions or anything, just give us a call. Thank you.